Hi, I'm Wade Rorick with Pursuit Tactical. I'm here today to discuss the new products we've developed in SHOT Show. By popular demand and the request of our customers, I'm excited to introduce the following new products. First off, I'd like to start off with a new M4 dump pouch. It's constructed with a 1000 Kajira, and what makes our dump pouch unique from our competitors is the thought and the design that we put into it. The flap can be rolled up and is attached with a one and a half Velcro at the back, which stops the flap from closing while in use in the range. The actual opening of the dump pouch is reinforced with a one and a half inch dive webbing nylon gear. And as you can see on the inside, holds six 30 round M4 magazines. It has a drain on the bottom, so if you ever shoot out in the rain, it'll drain out without actually catching the water in and uh, retaining it. It folds up to a real compact size like this, which fits in your belt when not in use. Otherwise, we've made it a medium sized pouch this size, which holds comfortably up to six mags from your chest rig. The back of it, you can see, has two flaps which attaches to a belt, ending from a one and a half up to a two inch duty belt. We put some snap studs in there as well to prevent the Velcro from opening while in use. It's available in four colors, OD, Coyote, Black, and Multicam, and you're looking at a retail price of about $64.95. The next product I'd like to discuss is our new three gun 12 gauge dump pouch. It is very similar in construction and design from our M4 dump pouch, however this one is a little bit smaller in size. It has the exact same one and a half inch dive webbing around the front to keep, its, to keep its shape. We've added some one and a half inch elastic on top to prevent the shells from falling out while running around during a match and diving on the ground. We've also added three slug bandolier on each side of the dump pouch, separating them from the actual bird shot which goes in the middle. The bird shot ammo in the middle it holds about 35 rounds of 12 gauge and about 40 rounds of 20 gauge. The flap itself can be rolled back out of the way keep you out of the way during a match, or can be folded closed when not in use to prevent the rounds out while out in the field. Same thing, has a drain hole on the bottom for any type of wet weather. The back of the dump pouch has the same attachment points as that uh, M4 dump pouches, which holds up to about a two inch um, um, duty belt or a competition belt. These are available in four colors again, OD green, black, multicam and coyote, and these retail for about $68.95. The next product I'd like to discuss is our new tactical shotgun pouch. It's a little bit smaller in design. It's still made of a thousand Kajura and holds 12 rounds of ammunition. We mounted six rounds on the outside, six rounds on the inside. It can be attached by various ways. We have a molly attachment point to go into a tack vest, or the other option we have mounts into a belt. These belt attachments are made for our type of belts, up to about an inch and a half wide. You can mount it upside down, all this way, however you want to do it. Mounting upside down allows you obviously to pull it downwards away from your body, get an easy access to the ammunition, or you can pull it up this way and take in the excess of the ammunition from there. These pouches come in your tactical colors. They come in OD green, black, coyote, and multicam. The belt ones are going to be $52.95, and the molly attachment is going to be $54.95. We've had a request to design a shooting mat. We've made something pretty small and compact. This was at a request for law enforcement and precision shooters. You can take this and put it into your range bag, your drag bag, or your rifle bag. It's the size of an Nalgene bottle. It rolls up real small and compact, and we use the bungee cords for the, to make it user friendly. So when the actual guy's finished the range and wants to roll it back up again, it'll be the same as an elastic band just to snap it over versus having to battle with buckles and one inch webbing strapping. Unfolding the shooting mat is pretty straightforward. Take a bungee cord, pull it to the sides, it unrolls by itself. It's constructed of a thousand Kajura with a polyurethane lining underneath to help uh, prevent the shooter from getting wet from any type of uh, surface he lays on. Opening out has a padded area for the guy's elbows on any type of surface from concrete to soil. It has a little compartment put in as well for people to keep their, their data or their, their dope cards inside there. So it's always with a shooting mat. On the opposite side, has eight round bandolier for anybody who doesn't use uh, magazines in their stock. The added feature on our shooting mats, we've added a grommet to each four corners of the shooting mat. So when the shooter goes out in high winds, you can actually stake it to the ground with little tiny tent pegs, which you can get from Cabela's or Bass Pro. Again, the available colors in these are going to come in your military colors, Coyote, OD, Black, and Multicam. And these retail for about $74.95. The next item I'd like to discuss is our suppressor pouches. At the request of our customers, we've had a lot of them buy suppressors and they're not being supplied with a suppressor pouch. We made three sizes to cover the wide spectrum of suppressors on the market today. Our small will fit the 22 suppressors. 
our medium will fit the most five five six presses, and our large will fit three hundred eight and the older style Gemtech five five six and um, larger size suppressors. The medium is more of a universal type suppressor. It'll fit an average size suppressor from Yankee Hill, AAC, and Surefire, as well as Gemtech, and one suppressor pouch will fit the majority on the, on the market today. It saves the customer having to buy four suppressor pouches for one type of suppressor when this one will fit about four or five different um, ranges in the market today. The back of it is Molly attachment points for a tactical vest. We have belt fed ones that go into a belt when you're at the range for a civilian. And we also have them to go tactical applications that go into the belt, um, sorry, onto the drop leg holster of the 6004 made by Safari Land. Available colors again are going to be your military um, coyote, black, OD green, and multicam. And the prices range from about $42 to $49. Another addition to our products is our medical pouches. As you all remember, our medical pouch we had on our contract vest before was a smaller size, which allowed the, the, the operator to carry um, a smaller amount of medical supplies. Our new one, we've upped the size, which holds a lot more gear inside it for any type of gunshot wound or medical treatment out in the field. It allowed for the operator to basically keep it on his vest for self-treatment. What we had to request a lot of people that wanted a red pull tab to signify medical, and we also added a cross on the actual flap itself to um, show you it was actually where your medical pouch was situated on your, on your tactical vest. This particular one is a molly adaptable, which goes into your vest, but it also restricted a lot of operators from taking it off. So we made an adapter which goes into the molly vest, tactical vest, but allowed the operator to actually pop it off or the guy treating the guy to rip it off and actually look inside it and get exactly what he wanted out in his hands. This particular one holds three chemical lights, the snap sticks in the front of the um, Velcro flap. It has a tourniquet on the outside where the older ones used to keep on the inside. This allows the operator to actually pull it, rip it out, and put it on first before any other treatment. The inside of the medical flap, lip it open, holds two compression bandages. You can hold a quick lot of gauze your nail flangel, your latex gloves, your uh, medical shears, two primate gauze, um, anything else you wanted to put inside there. It's a nice size for, for being out in the field. Constructed of a thousand Kajura as well. The back of it has a male Velcro, which attaches the female adapter, which is on your vest. It comes in, your, again, your tactical colors from Coyote, OD Green, Black, and Multicam. These range from about, um, for the Molly type pouch, you're looking at 59.95 and through to the, the actual detachable with the adapter, all included, it's $89.95. Something you've been asked to make is a M4 2000 strobe pouch which attaches to the tactical helmets. We designed it uh, with the 1000 Kajero. We cut the slot out there for the operator to still be able to turn it on and turn it off. The pull tab at the back, if the guy wants to remove it ever from the actual helmet, we gave it extra wings with a male Velcro to secure it in the downward Velcro female tabs inside of the helmets. And we have two types of attachment points within to secure the actual strobe from falling out. We lined the inside of the pouch with a male Velcro and a lot of the operators were putting female Velcro um, stuck to the strobe pouch and put it inside there and that prevented it from sliding out. Or we have a grommet in the front, the drain on grommet we can actually attach a bungee cord to it to the front and that also prevented it from sliding out. These uh, wings in the side prevented and gave it better support and, and stable from tearing off the helmet while guys were running through on missions and stuff like that. These come in uh, any colors you want, OD green, um, coyote black, and multicam, and these retail for $36.95. Since the last contract vest you guys saw at SHOT Show, we've designed three more and developed three more new vests. This is our three gun model. It allows uh, the shooter to have three AR-15 30 round mags on, on, on his person, three pistol mags, and 24 rounds of 12 gauge. At the bottom, we have a place for his pen to, to um, record his scores. And on the inside, same pocket we had on our, on our contractor vest, you can put your uh, score sheets in for each stage. Tears open away. Again, six rounds inside, six rounds outside. The pistol magazine pocket itself, the flap can be tucked in behind the mags for easier access. And um, it comes in various colors as well. Again, your OD green, black, multicam, and coyote. These retail for $185.95. What I'd like to talk about next is our latest design in our tactical vests. It's a last resort vest and the acronym for GAG is a grab and go vest. It has a larger medical pouch, detachable medical pouch as we saw before which comes off for self-treatment. 
It has a magazine uh, compartment area for six 30 round um, AR-15 mags, three pistol magazine pouches. We've gone reinforced with binding on the edges of the whole vest. We've added uh, molly attachment points to the, the shoulder straps, which allows the operator or the, the person to actually attach gloves, feed the hydration um, uh, tubing through, or any type of radio equipment you have for your cables. On the opposite side, we're going to go to right now, you're going to see we have an attachment point for Molly. We can put a fixed blade, suppressor pouch, GPS pouch. We have another pouch, which is basically the last resort pouch we designed to hold multiple um, utilities. On the outside, we have a multi-tool. On the inside, below it, we actually have an M M4 2000 um, strobe pouch. Uh, we have a place for a Shofar light to go bezel down, bezel up for the smaller uh, series lights. And on the inside, we actually have a place for you to put all your survival strikers, fishing kits, signal mirrors from there. As you can see from this pouch here, we actually have the multi-tool, rip away pouch from the other side. You put your M4 2000 strobe pouch, which actually has a place to tie the cord from you losing it um, if you ever take it out. The smaller series shofar light on the outside of the flap, and on the inside, place for your fire starters as I spoke about before, any other gear you want to put inside there. These survival pouches can be bought separately. They have a molly attachment in the back to, to attach to your existing molly vest if you have one. They range in your four colors again, black, OD green, coyote, and multicam. The vest goes for $269.95, and this last sort pouch goes for $59.95. I'd like to present Paradigm Shift and Tactical Drop Leg Holsters. Introducing the MER Modular Interchangeable Retention Drop Leg Holster. What sets us apart from our competition is, it's the first holster to actually have interchangeable inserts. It solves a lot of problems. We've had a lot of requests from guys complaining about buying multiple um, drop leg holsters for different models of firearms they own. This one holster solves that problem. We've actually come up with a holster that's very compact and with design using a nylon outer base with a Kydex insert. It has three, ways, three levels of retention, two that come with a holster, it has a thumb brake. When not even used, you may fold it back and actually clip it back onto the press stud. The retention itself from the Kydex insert locks the holster in place very securely. The third level of retention we offer is a bungee strap that comes up over the top of the actual handle for the military that do amphibious assaults and any type of skydiving operations. The adjustment points we offer on this holster has two heights, the lower drop leg holster with two leg straps. You can take the buckle system completely off the actual leg strap just at any height you want, remove one of the leg straps and you've got a mid-height mid carry for that. The holsters itself are available with different inserts, obviously. The models we have, uh, offer right now are going to be 1911s, cocked and locked, with and without rails. The Smith & Wesson MMPs, the Glocks from 19, 17s through to the 34 length, Breda 92s, HK USPs, Sig Sauer's with and without rails, and uh, Springfield XDMs. One of the other features of the holsters is it has an external magazine pouch. Part of the leg strap, we've actually incorporated a, a compartment for your Allen wrench. So the operator can take the two screws out and the go out in the field, replace the insert, put them back in again. These products are available in four colors, Coyote, OD Green, Black, and Multicam. And they retail from $139.95 for the actual holster, which comes with one insert. Each additional insert is going to be $39.95. The same as a mirror holster we spoke about earlier, we now make an LS series. LS stands for light series. Has the uh, same designs and features with interchangeable inserts for um, um, pistols with lights on. The retention is around the actual whip mount light itself. So even without the thumb brake on, we're putting it back in again, we'll lock the pistol in place. Same adjustability as before, different heights, uh, same colors available. One thing we've been able to do, which our competitors haven't been able to do, is even without a light on the pistol, you can put the pistol in this holster. It doesn't rock backwards and forwards or flop around. But one thing we do recommend is putting a thumb brake on to retain it and keep it from falling out. The price on these holsters are again $159.95 and the inserts for the whip mount lights are $59.95. Bushido Tactical offers a lifetime warranty and guarantees its products to be free from defects in materials, workmanship and manufacturing. Our warranty can be found behind our product packaging which will soon to be in retail stores, available now online at bishutashwell.com and arafutin.com as an industry partner. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and keep a lookout for our new videos and product coming out soon. Take care.